Hello! In this video I will show you how you can set a trust line. So the first thing we're going to do is again go to website xmptoolkit.com click on get started, click on connect wallet and I will use the XAM map. So we've got multiple ways again and I will use the XAM map in this case. So we'll be scanning the QR code with a phone and just scan it and then sign it. Sign it. And after I've done this successfully, I am logged in to my uh, XOP dev account here. So it's rather easy to set a trust line. So the first thing we sh should ask ourselves is what is a trust line? So basically you are trusting somebody else's asset. So anybody can issue a so-called um, issued currency on the XP Ledger. So anybody could can do that. Also you. If you want to do that, I will maybe make a video on that. You go to some community and you can go to XOPL tokens and create a new token and follow these steps here. So you can also issue that, but I might make a video because it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, but right, so it's for the, in this case it's rather easy, so just click on Add Asset. And then here you've got a list um, of like the most common XOPL issue currencies. So for example, we've got here Bitstamp, we've got, uh, we've got Kudos, so the, these are, uh, this is from uh, Togo Labs. We've got Solgenic. Um I will be also mentioning maybe like Solgenic is a decentralized exchange. Uh, but in my case, I will be adding, for example, the US dollar IOU from Bitstamp. So we just click on that. Uh, I don't change limit and just go to next. And now I'm almost set, so I just have to sign again. So now my minimum balance will increase by 5. So instead of having a minimum of 20, now 25 will be locked up more or less. So now I'm setting a transaction using the phone again. And almost done here. And the trust list is set. So now my account is able, so now people can send me, or I can send myself, um, the Bitstamp US dollar I use. So I can receive those. So if anybody s sends me those, I can receive them. If this trust list is not set, nobody could send it to me and it would not work. So you can also see, you can also change it. For example, I can also de uh, disallow people from depositing XRP at all. For example, I only, only want people to send me, for example, the uh, only the IOU. Um, but the Basic, right, and so it, now you can see here that my reserve has been increased to 25. So let's say I don't need trust anymore, then you can just go again to the trust line, go to details, and remove it again. Then there's the same principle, so I'm going to go to the phone again, and sign the transaction again. So, and then I'm just going to sign it again, and I, so the transaction is being submitted. And after the four seconds or something like that, and the transaction, so and the transaction has confirmed, and the trust then has been removed again. So that's basically it. So it's very easy. So you can here add like the basic assets, um, and also if you want, so there are lots of tokens basically. If you want to add more, then you can also go to uh, um, XRPL transactions and go to um, to trust set. So here you can also trust somebody else's, um, so some of the other tokens. So there, like I said, there are lots of tokens. If you click on XOPL uh, tokens again, oh my bad, and then go to list of all tokens, then you can see that, that lots of people already made their own tokens. So we've got Gate, uh, the Gate of Fifth Bitcoin, so they, those are being shown. But if we've, got, if we've got a company, Ripple China, uh, issuing their own uh, issued currency, CNI. We've got Ripple Fox, we've got Mr. Exchange. Uh, issuing Japanese yuan, I guess, or yen, Japanese yen, I think. Oh, my bad, I think it's Japanese yen, isn't it? Uh, probably, yep, it's Japanese yen. Uh, so we can see SnapSwap is issuing their own US dollars and so on. So you can also add any of those um, uh, issued currencies. So basically just go, have to go here to the export transaction, set a trust line, then copy the address of the issuer and also the token currency code. And after you're done here, the, uh, then you can just send it and also sign it with the sum app again. So that's basically it. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.